welcome guys in this video we are going to learn how to change the stroke length of the ram in a shaping machine uh, we need to change the stroke length depends upon the length of the workpiece uh, i think you may have a clear idea about the parts of a shaping machine if you have any doubt uh, just refer the previous video uh, that is parts of shaping machine in our channel uh, let's see uh, what is meant by stroke length. See uh, here you can able to see the reciprocation of the ram, and the workpiece is going to clamped by using a machine vise, and uh, this is our tool. The tool is going to move from left extreme point to the right extreme point. The left to right movement is known as the cutting or forward stroke and the right to left movement that is known as a return or a backward stroke. And here we are having some clearance. We have to give clearance in two directions that is uh, behind as well as in front of the workpiece including this clearance distance only we are going to calculate the stroke length and the stroke length is the linear distance between the starting and the ending of a forward or a backward stroke travel distance by the ram and uh, we need to adjust the stroke length based on the length of work piece uh, actually, the maximum and minimum stroke length is one of the important specification in a shaping machine. Uh, we need to check this parameter while we are going to buy a shaping machine. And uh, the stroke length can be changed by the following methods. That is, uh, the stroke length is proportional to the length of the slotted lever. As you know, uh, this is the slotted lever. By increasing or decreasing the length of the slotted lever, uh, we can able to change the stroke length of the ram. Uh, actually, this can be done while designing and manufacturing the uh, machine itself. And uh, the second one is, the stroke length is proportional to a radius of crack distance from the center of the bull gear. Yeah, uh, a sliding crank is attached in the bull gear uh, like this. Uh, yeah, uh, we will discuss it later. And the third one is uh, the stroke length is inversely proportional to the length of connecting rod. Uh, it is nothing but a rod between slotted link and the ram. It is fixed in some of the machines. Also, a hydraulic separate with the help of limit switch. We can adjust the stroke length uh, by controlling the directional control valve. And uh, we are going to only change the uh, crank radius. Yeah, uh, that is the point number two. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the relationship between crank radius and stroke length briefly? Uh, see here, uh, from the electrical motor to a soft, a pinion gear is used to rotate the bull gear and uh, a sliding crank is attached at the bull gear. A pivoted slotted arm is having a contact with the crank and the ram is attached at the another end of slotted arm. Whenever the pinion gear is going to rotate, uh, this assembly will be working like this. Yeah, uh, as we know, uh, this is known as quick return mechanism. Uh, that is an inversion of a single slider crank mechanism. In this figure, uh, assume the bigger circle is our bull gear and the red dot is a crank pin. And uh, this is the radius of the crank. Whenever the pin is closer to the center of the bull gear, smaller the stroke length. Yes, and actually the forward and the backward stroke will change whenever the slotted link is tangent to the imaginary crank circle. Yeah, uh, this is the extreme rear and the forward position of the slotted links. See, 
this is the tangent line yeah this above angle is known as forward angle or cutting angle and this angle yeah this in between angle is known as return stroke angle uh, when the crank pin is slides away from the center of the bull gear the maximum stroke of the ram is going to be obtained if suppose it is going to be slides moves towards the center of the bull gear means we are going to obtain a minimum stroke length right uh, if we want to change the position of the crank pin we have to rotate the stroke regulator shaft uh, see uh, this is our stroke regulator shaft which is available at the right side of your shaping machine and uh, by adjusting the stroke regulator shaft it will slide the crank uh, with the help of a bevel gear mechanisms and um, the bevel gear assembly will transfer the rotary motion of the stroke regulating shaft into a 90 degree translatory motion yeah and uh, it will turn the small lead screw which is attached with the crank pin it will makes the crank to slide that's it uh, due to the change in position the slotted link will oscillate for bigger angles or maybe smaller angles depends upon the rotary motion what we are going to give uh, let's see one uh, demo I want to thank Mr. Kartikeyan sir and uh, Mr. Selvarasu sir for uh, supporting me while recording this uh, video. Yeah, mm, right. And see, uh, this is the stroke regulator shaft. Uh, while we rotating it, the movement of the crank pin is moving away or moving towards the center of the bull gear uh, based upon the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation of the uh, stroke regulator shaft. And see how it's sliding the crank pin see here and uh, you can able to see the bevel gear assembly also see and uh, there is a lead screw is used to connect the crank pin that's it uh, by this we can able to change the stroke length of the shaping machine and uh, here I am showing the comparison of the two different stroke length of the RAM. Uh, please uh, make a note of the uh, below point also. It is an important thing. Here, the cutting tool velocity is also changed due to the change in crank pin radius. Uh, because for the same pinion gear RPM, we only changed the length of stroke. But the RPM of the bull gear remains unchanged so the cutting velocity is going to be increased if the length of the stroke is increased if the length of stroke is reduced means the cutting velocity is also going to be reduced uh, i think now you may have a clear idea about how to adjust the stroke length and uh, what is the necessary for adjusting the stroke length and what are the various mechanisms used while adjusting the stroke length also thank you uh, thanks for learning here you can